WXI 12 Sports Director Lauren Walsh joins us live now from North Wilkesboro tonight. And Lauren, you recently got to talk to a man whose history with the track spanned decades and decades. That's right, Kenny. Of course, we're here in the heart of NASCAR country at North Wilkesboro Speedway, and the sport has really grown and expanded coast to coast over the years, as we all know. It's attracted northerners like me and Michael Wheeler. He's from New York. He grew up there, but he honed his passion for racing at tracks in the southeast, and more specifically, right here at North Wilkesboro. It was my old family photo album that my, my parents gave to me from when they moved from New York, and one of the first early days in this album is uh, the North Wilkesboro race. Snapshots of a racetrack in its glory days and a teenager in his formative years. I'm this guy, this little kid right there, just guarding a race car all by myself. That little kid is Michael Wheeler, fittingly nicknamed Wheels. He grew up in South Hold, New York. His dad raced short tracks in the Northeast. So Michael was always around race cars. I ended up getting a NASCAR license to travel a little bit, and the team out of New York um, would come down to these big races at Martinsville and North Wilkesboro, North Wilkesboro Speedway. I remember those couple of years missing school and coming down for the big events. And with the big events came the big stars. That's our car getting ready for Tech and Junior's right behind us. So it was obviously neat to have Dale Earnhardt walking around or Daryl Walter walking around and seeing his car go by. It was a very much surreal. That bright-eyed teenager is now the Senior Director of Operations at 2311 Racing. He honed his passion at tracks in this region, like North Wilkesboro, from the humblest of beginnings. We actually, being from New York and Long Island, uh, we were the 24 car, but we didn't out-qualify the other 24 car, so we had to make it into an 84. Uh, and that was actually one of my jobs with duct tape and electrical tape, was trying to make an 8 out of a 2. While Michael was developing his love for racing and his craftsmanship, his mother was developing these film photos from the 1990s, a permanent reminder of the glory and feeling of North Wilkesboro Speedway. It's like going to play pickup baseball game at a Major League Baseball park, and then seeing the professionals go out there. It's definitely a different level than what you're used to. Um, it's, it's different for me now because we are those people and you see local people come around and, and you know, you take the time to make sure you give them a smile and, and you know, take a picture with them. Uh, because, yeah, 30 years ago I was one of those kids. And Michael says he's come a long way since that teenager you saw in those photos in the 90s. He said back then his biggest concern was not getting run over. I can relate. You can hear those cars behind me. It can be a little bit intimidating, but Michael is well on his way with 2311, and he says he looks forward to the team becoming one of the big dogs among race teams in the next five to ten years. And he can't wait to get out here to the track this week. Reporting at North Wilkesboro Speedway, I'm Lauren Walsh. Back to you.